Hello dear viewers, I am Khan Bahadur, Assistant Professor of Statistics and you are watching a video from my YouTube channel Statistics by Khan. Dear viewers, I hope all of you will be doing great. Dear viewers, this YouTube channel Statistics by Khan has been created for basic statistics with a view to help the beginner students of statistics, the researchers of all fields and other learners of basic statistics. I have also a Facebook page and group with the same name Statistics by Khan. You can visit them for steps related to basic statistics. Dear viewers, for better understanding of concepts in my video, I would recommend you to watch the full video. After watching the full video, I assure you, you will understand the concepts very clearly. Dear viewers, in today's lecture, we are computing the arithmetic mean from continuous group data by a coding method. So let's start the lecture. In today's lecture, we are using the same data, the one that has been used and computing the arithmetic mean from continuous group data. So we are taking the same data set that is words of apples. The next step is to find the class marks or midpoints which are generated by x. x. Adding these two values and divide the total by 2. So we get 74.5. Adding these two values and dividing the total by 2, we get 94.5. Okay, basically the coding method helps in computation. It brings ease in computation. So, uh, in coding method, we will be looking for each shortcut step, which could help us in ease of computation. For that, we will use some tricks and the tricks will be depending upon some facts so now let's know some more information about the continuous group data uniform class interval is one of the terms so let's know what uniform class interval is if the intervals in all among all the classes is uniform or equal for example the interval of this class is equal to the interval of this class and the interval of this class is equal to the interval of the next class and in short if the intervals in all the classes are identical then such intervals are called uni uh, uniform class intervals and in that case it helps in computation of x if the interval is uniform so instead of adding the lower limit in the upper limit and dividing it by 2 for all the classes what we do we compute uh, the uh, value of x or the midpoint by that computational method i mean we add this and this and divide it by 2 and for the rest of the classes what do we do we are just adding that uniform class interval with this first value of x and we automatically get the second value and if you are going to check so if you uh, add these two value and divide it by two automatically that will be equal to this value so this is a trick if the class if the class interval is uniform so then add the class interval with the previous value of x and you will get the new value of x so let's follow that procedure we get the next value as 114.5 the next value is 134.5 then 154 54.5 the last one is 194.5 okay so now we are moving towards coding method for coding method what do we do we take one of the values from the values of x that value is called the arbitrary mean or provisional mean then we are subtracting that value from each value of x but usually we are taking that arbitrary mean or provisional mean in the center why because if that is taken from the center it will uh, is the computation it will help in the computation and if that value of x is taken against the maximum frequency it will further 
help in computation. We are taking the value of x against the maximum frequency. So that value is 114. So now this 114 is arbitrary mean or provisional mean. Both of them are the same things. Okay, this is arbitrary mean. So by coding method, what do we do? We are subtracting, we denote this next column by u. Let's denote it by u. And how do we code this u? We code this u like this xi minus a. What a is? a is arbitrary mean. This a for this first alphabet of the spelling of arbitrary. Okay. What do we do? We are subtracting this arbitrary mean from each value of x and divide the, that difference by the uniform class interval. I denote it by i. Okay. What does it mean? It means this is xi 74.5 minus a. So this is a. Subtract this a divided by i. i is the class interval. So how can we find the class interval? We the distance from here till here, both inclusive. If you count. Uh, this interval this gap so it will equal to 20 both if you start from 65 and uh, read up to 84 so it will automatically become 20 but the best way or the shortcut way is that subtract uh, this lower uh, this lower limit from this or this upper limit from this that is uh, okay let's know two more terminologies that will really help us. Suppose we are talking about this class. So this, you can say to this class as current class. The class before this is called preceding class. And the class after this current class is called succeeding class. So how can we find the class interval? Uh, subtracting the lower class limit of the preceding class from the lower class limit of the uh, succeeding class. This is this is succeeding for this class, and this is succeeding for this class. Similarly, this is proceeding for this class, and this is proceeding for this class. So subtract the preceding class lower limit from the succeeding class lower limit, or subtract the uh, upper limit of the preceding class from the upper limit of the succeeding class so you will get the class interval so if you do so so in this case it gives 20 it also gives 20 it also gives 20 it also gives 20 so this is uniform class interval so i is equal to 20 in this case so divide it by 20 so the result would be minus 2. Similarly, for the next value of x, which is 94.5, subtract the arbitrary mean again. I divide it by the class interval 20. So if we simplify it, we will get minus 1. Similarly, this arbitrary mean will be taken as the value of x as well. So now 114.5 minus 114.5 and divided by 2. So it will give us 0. Next, 134.5 will be taken as the value of x and a will be subtracted from it. And the difference will be divided by the class interval, which is 20. So we will get plus 1. Similarly, if you do the same for this one, for this value, so we will get 2. For this value, if you do the same procedure, we will get 3. And for this value, we will get 4. So this is the way by which we can obtain u. 
Okay, but there is another uh, trick. What is that? If the class interval is uniform, so then the value that has been taken is arbitrary, mean you can directly write zero against that value under column U, and all those values which are smaller than that arbitrary mean you can directly write uh, the negative integers minus one minus two and so on minus three if how many will are there so accordingly uh, we can write negative integers for all the smaller values from the arbitrary mean and all for all the values which are greater than the arbitrary mean the positive integers so this is another trick uh, it uh, bypasses this computation and it will automatically match to the results of this computation. So this is another trick just uh, by following what did I say. Now this is coding. This column is called coding. Now under coding method the formula for the arithmetic mean would become as. If this is sample data suppose so the arithmetic mean would become x bar a the arbitrary mean plus summation f u divided by summation f multiplied by i this would be the formula we can see in the formula we need a so a is already there then we need summation f u there is no f u and we need summation if so if we add this if column so we will get summation if and if we add these values so this value will give us 60 as the total so this is 60 so and and finally we need i i is the class interval which is already been discussed equal that is equal to 20. okay so we have to determine this value summation if you so for that we will multiply f and u what do i mean we will multiply the corresponding the corresponding values of uh, u and f so now this is the logic if we had to multiply 9 by x now we are multiplying 9 by 2 so if we look at so this is a sort of is in computation 9 multiplied by minus 2 is easier as compared to 9 multiplied by 74. So this was all about this coding method. So this is the logic. Why do we apply or why do we follow coding method? This is the reason that it brings ease in computation. Okay. So now let's construct a few columns. F and U. Now multiply this f value with the corresponding u value so it will give us minus 18 now this value will be multiplied by this this will give us minus 10 and why do we take the arbitrary mean against maximum frequency that is the reason because as we have taken 114.5 is the arbitrary mean and it is against 17 so the resulted value of u is zero now we are multiplying uh, u and f so at u under u column this is zero and under f column the maximum frequency is 17 so if you multiply it by zero so we get zero so it means this is another trick why do we take uh, a arbitrary mean against maximum frequency because when our the reason is that when we are making a few columns we will get ease of the multiplication of their maximum frequency because that will be multiplied by zero and it, it will give us a zero okay next 10 this is already been done now 10 and 1 so it will give us 10 now 2 and 5 it will give us 10 3 and 4 it will give us 12 5 and 4 it will give us 20 so the total summation if you will be
these two will be cancelled out. And if we operate these two, so it will give us plus two. It will plus two, 12, uh, 14, it will give us 24. Now, putting these values in the formula, x bar will equal to a arbitrary mean. It's 114.5 plus summation if you give us 24, summation if it's 60 multiplied by 20. Simplify it, it will give us 114.5 plus, this will be cancelled out with this. 2 and 3, 3 and 8. So it will give us 8. X bar is equal to 122.5. I think which is very much similar to the answer that has been computed in the last lecture. So the results are quite same, but the benefit of the coding method was that it brought ease and computation of uh, FU. Instead of computing FX, we are computing uh, FU, which is more easier than the FX computation. So that was the logic, the reason, and method of coding method. That's all from my side. Thank you for watching the video.